really because I was sort of upset that with the focus on dementia and Alzheimer's, that a lot of research interest was going into those people who were on the cusp of perhaps developing it, older age groups. And I wanted to show that at every age, our diet and our nutrition interacts with brain health, from brain building in utero through what happens when we're children, uh, right through stress and workplace stress, and later on, accidents and strokes. So there is always chance that we can do things later on in life, but it becomes a little bit more difficult. But this is hopeful if you look at aging neurons and say, you know what, more berries might help them remain functional. So that uh, is the other aspect of the fruits and vegetables. If you're going for fruits and vegetables, it would be more like seven vegetable servings and three fruit, and at least make one of them berries. So, as I said, it sounds like a daunting task, but in fact, when you actually measure it all out, it's not that much. It means that you do have to be aware that each meal should be based around vegetables and fruit. I think there's one mistake that's going to come out in our new health eating guidelines, and they're going to say, eat a plant-based diet. And I wish they'd say, eat a plant-rich diet. I think it is a plant-rich diet. Um, and you'll see later on in the talk uh, why I'm a bit concerned about that language. So a cup of raw leafy greens, like a, a fistful of leafy greens, and cut, if you um, cook spinach, etc., you know it's a, a smaller amount. So half a cup of other vegetables, and vegetable juice does seem to be okay, so you can have your tomato juice, your V8s, whatever. Um, half a cup um, is a serving. Fruit, a medium size, about the size of a baseball. Half a cup of chopped, cooked, or frozen fruit. And as I said before, avoid juice, uh, fruit juice. It is, we call it liquid candy now. So this one dietary change that people could make could have a huge payoff. And this is from um, an editorial in the Journal of the American Dietetic Association, pointing out that at the beginning of the 21st century, 26.4% of the world's population had high blood pressure. Cardiovascular disease accounted for 31% of deaths globally. One billion are overweight or obese and diabetes is epidemic, uh, had ridden by 61% in one decade. And this is a direct quote. It said, there is substantial, substantial evidence showing that a single dietary change, increasing fruits and vegetables, could reverse some, if not all, of these trends. So we may be talking about brain, but I usually say, if the brain uses more nutrients than any other organ in the body, if you can get the brain working optimally and show there's enough nutrition, all the other organs will thank you for it.